Welcome back to The Rich Life, I'm your host Aaron, and before we get started, don't forget to click like and subscribe for your daily dose of celebrity content. Now let's get to it. Today we're going to be talking about KSI. KSI, 29, and uh... I forgot my line. Oh! KSI is an English YouTube personality, rapper, comedian, and actor. He established himself on the YouTube channel, which he created several years ago to record his FIFA games, and since then he's reached over 4 billion views. Olajide William Olatunji was born on the 19th of July, 1993, in Watford, England. He made the decision to drop out of high school in order to pursue his dreams and his definition of happiness. KSI's decision to drop out was ridiculed by his family, who were very traditional and believed highly pursuing higher education. Instead, KSI created a YouTube account when he was a teenager and started to do what he loved, playing video games and creating entertainment videos for people. Are you struggling to score in FIFA? <coughs> yes. KSI began recording videos on YouTube in 2008 and the majority revolved around him playing FIFA. He said, I'm now a brand, like KSI is a brand. It's crazy that this all came from me sitting in my bedroom just making a few FIFA videos. He quickly grew a large following, mainly among other FIFA fans and players, and used his growth to start diversifying his channel and his career. In 2011, he branched out into the world of hip hop and rap and used his channel to help facilitate the early success of his music. He's now released various songs on iTunes and YouTube, his very first one which is called Hesky Time, a football theme song featuring fellow rapper and YouTuber Randolph. Leveraging his following, KSI began producing more music with the track says Lamborghini, Down Like That, and Two Birds One Stone. KSI has released two studio albums, Dissimulation and All Over the Place, and four EPs. His 2021 album featured collaborations with Future, 21 Savage, Craig David, Youngblood, Bugsy Malone, and Lil Durk. The internet star is a co-founder and member of the British YouTube group known as The Sidemen. KSI is also co-owner of Prime Hydration, XIX Vodka, and the restaurant chain Sides. KSI and Logan Paul don't actually own Prime and here's why. Prime is a hydration drink that has very little sugar. It's here to compete with brands like Gatorade. With KSI and Logan Paul being the face of the business, we all assume that they own it. If you look up the Kentucky Security of State website and put in the Prime LLC number, then you will see that KSI and Logan Paul's name aren't even on there. In recent years, KSI has ventured into the world of boxing. In 2019, he took to the ring in a fight against Logan Paul, and according to Forbes, the YouTubers both earned $900,000 each from the fight. With feuds becoming more and more popular among YouTubers, KSI lit the fight for the new trend of amateur boxing matches between social media superstars fighting Joe Weller in 2018. This continued as KSI went to fight Logan Paul later that year, with the match ending in a tie. However, in 2019, KSI and Logan fought once more, and this time with the decision going in KSI's favor. The two matches ranked in millions of dollars. Fans began to worry that something had happened to KSI after a death hoax started to trend on Twitter. The hoax started after Cal Freezy, a YouTuber, held the funeral for KSI's hamster, Morpheus. I'd like to welcome a close friend of mine a close friend of Morpheus's, is up to, uh, to say a few kind words. The thumbnail video contained pictures of both KSI and Cal Freezy, as well as a black and white picture of KSI on top of a coffin. In the picture, KSI is seen holding his pet hamster, though as the animal is small, many people did not notice that straight away and began to panic that the YouTuber himself had passed away. Clearly, fans did not read the video title as if it stated, I held a funeral for KSI's hamster. Later on, Logan Paul called out the fellow YouTuber turned boxer KSI, who holds a win over Logan Paul after his upcoming fight was cancelled due to a concussion suffering from Alex Wasabi. Paul asked for the fight while also agreeing to weigh requirements and naming KSI as an A-side in hopes that they could clash. Heard that Alex is out because of a concussion. This is a big opportunity for Alex. He will be back, Paul wrote on Twitter. KSI, everything happens for a reason. I'll come fight in your hometown. Your boxing company, you are A-side. I also agree to make 180 pounds for August 27. You accept? Paul continued taking aim at KSI in a series of posts while also offering a prediction on why he didn't believe the fight could actually come together in just a few weeks time. Prediction of reply from KSI. I accept, ha 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 ha. I will F up Jake Paul, ha 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 ha. He needs me, ha 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 ha, Paul wrote. But my team told me I should wait to make this a big event. Blah blah blah. KSI and the Little Misfits are scrambling trying to figure out the perfect response. Paul then added that his manager claimed that KSI would accept the fight, but only if the problem child agreed to compete for free with his opponent earning all the revenue from the event. In response, KSI said that after Wasabi fell out of the fight, his team had already contracted another opponent to step in and face him on such a short notice. Paul scuffed at those claims while offering to pay the opponent a fee so he could ultimately secure the match with KSI. In the end, KSI said he was happy to accept the fight against Paul, but not on August 20th. 
27. We will fight on my terms and when we do it, it will be done in the biggest stage case I wrote. I'm talking Wembley Stadium fam. This is a full champ tailored just for you and I. So there are no excuses when we fight. None of this short notice crap, Jake Paul. Paul ended the tirade directed at KSI by calling his response officially the biggest duck of all time. Of course, the rivalry between Paul and KSI goes deeper than just boxing matches and were held with Logan Paul in the past. On the night when KSI went to a draw with Logan in an amateur boxing match, Jake Paul fought Deji Olatunji, who is KSI's younger brother. Paul blasted Olatunji with the punches to earn a fifth round in TKO in what served as the only amateur bout of his career before turning pro where he's put together a 5-0 record this far. Judging by the interaction on social media, Paul may have found a new opponent after both Raman and Tom Fury were unable to face him in August, but it doesn't look like he'll just get his wish to compete before the end of the month. Jake Paul agrees to fight KSI at Wembley Stadium in 2023, winner takes 100% of the money. Before the age of 24 years old, KSI has been able to afford a mansion, have a jacuzzi airlifted to his crib, and buy himself a Lamborghini. KSI's net worth is estimated to be around $25 million in 2021, which is very similar to some of his fellow YouTube superstars such as Jake Paul and Logan Paul. So Logan Paul is an American YouTuber, boxer, internet personality, and actor. Logan Paul has a net worth of $45 million, and as of this writing, Logan Paul has more than 23 million followers on his YouTube channel. At various times, he's been one of the highest paid YouTubers on the planet. His brother Jake Paul is an American social media personality, actor, boxer, and comedian. And as of this writing, his net worth is $30 million. Jake is consistently one of the highest paid YouTubers in the world, making a minimum of $20 million and as much as $40 million every year before taxes. He gained extensive media coverage when the music video for his 2017 single It's Every Day Bro went viral on YouTube. YouTube star KSI loves cars and more recently moved into his 4.9 million pound home which is 6 million USD. And the cars are just also a big thing for him. So KSI, when it comes to his cars, he does have his Lamborghini Aventador and he does not pull any punches. His Lamborghini was custom wrapped. So his ride comes with a top speed of 217.5 miles per hour, a zero to six speed of 2.9 seconds, and is powered by an insane 3.5 liter V12 engine weighing 235 kilograms. He's also owned a silver Porsche Cayenne, which costs around 56,000 pounds. And KSI works on YouTube, so that means that he requires some solid equipment to make his videos. Equipment can cost a fortune if you're committed. Since it's his career, we can guarantee he's dropped tens of thousands on his gear. A lot of people think YouTube is quite easy when it just isn't. I've been doing YouTube for six years now and I'd say the hardest years were definitely the first three or four. You have to consistently put out content that is good just to make people come back to your channel. And I work every single day just to try and expand my brand. That's what KSI wrote. Now let me know in the comments what your favorite KSI video is and how do you think this whole boxing match is going to turn out? Who do you think is going to win? Let me know in the comments below. I'm your host Aaron. Thanks for checking out the Rich Life, and we'll be seeing you soon. Would you Question. fight KSI? Huh? KSI? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't think he could do it. No, I could, I'll fight him.